Were the Beatles mediocre? Quincy uh, Jones thinks so. I know we already talked about Quincy, <laughs> but talking about how he talks shit about people. And then he, the Beatles. And he was like, the Beatles suck. What? Very quickly. Did but you let's see this? understand. So what? And as of today, there is not one member of the United States military who is in active duty in a combat zone in any war zone around the world. The first time this Wait, century. what? But let's understand. So where the fuck are we right now? <laughs> <laughs> they released the... And as of today. That's crazy. <laughs> this is but just, nobody's ever nobody's gonna call her out on her blatant lie. No, no one's gonna say anything no. about because that was a blatant lie. I'm just being fair. Trump lies a lot, but that was a blatant lie. Yeah. Nobody's gonna say shit. No, because we gotta save democracy. Unless, we unless, have to save but, democracy. but listen, they could be lying to you because they saw it on the TV. This is true. It could be a it could, it could be, be a cheap it fake. It could be a it could be a deep fake. It could be a cheap fake. Could be just some people in Illinois dressed as military men, pretending like they're deployed somewhere. You know. This is true. This is fake. They're they're lying. <laughs> okay, <laughs> they're fucking lying. Are you calling our men and women? Who are I would, yeah? I would never, but they're not real because that's what they're gonna say because they'll come out no, facts, doesn't yeah. lie. No. Oh no no no. Are you only Donald Trump? How dare lies. you? Only Donald Trump. To even, to even. Maybe. Oh, this gives her freedom to lie a lot. Well, it, there's a lot of pieces that there, even her, just her vessel alone gives her ability to lie a lot. Because like it's almost like if you come after her, you have to be like, shit. I feel that I'm fortunate. I'm a, bl a black guy. I can. I can. My judgment isn't altered based on that. But like, if you're not like a hundred percent sure, and you're of any other race, and then you're going to be skeptical or critical of a black woman or Indian woman, whatever. It's not, especially if you're white. Yeah, that doesn't look good. So it's like it creates a mm -hmm. a, a a very fearful environment, which is, you know, in certain ways that's respectful. In other ways, it's kind of like no, this, and they're going to use that to their advantage, mm -hmm. you know, because it's come on. It's it's okay to hate Donald Trump. He's a white man, right? Like that's you know, like that's that how it's framed. So okay. It's a, yeah. Next question. I mean, Quincy Jones not liking the Beatles. I I I think the Beatles did some revolutionary things with like how they recorded things, and they you know they have some very classic songs. Quincy Jones said I was in the studio with Ringo for three hours trying to do this one little part, and then he walked out, and I've just had. Uh, Smokey Brothers, I don't know, I mean, they, I said the name. Yeah. Smokey Brothers came in, he crazy with licking the tongues, and he went and did it and played it in five minutes. Right. Came back, Rango came in. I said, that sounds pretty good. I don't know, guys. And then we said, ha ha, that's because it wasn't you. <laughs> <laughs> Quincy Jones. <laughs> Wait, what did he say? That's, that's amazing. <laughs> you said it. You said it in a do I I posted it, I think. It's a, it's a it's a wait, it's a video? No, 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 no. Oh. It's, uh, it's just Quincy Jones uh, Talk excerpt. It. Excerpt from uh, Yeah, interview. from one of his interviews. Cause no, bro, like I I get it. Cause you also gotta think a guy like Quincy Jones has sat there and watched a lot of white artists get and by and be not like, be oh my mediocre. God. Yeah. Ill. Yeah. For sure. For Ill. sure. And and that's fair. But I'll say they they did something right, and it was more than just you know, being just some uh, white teeny boppers or mm -hmm. British. I mean, also they were British and the British invasion whole thing. I mean, also they had great marketing and they had good songs. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. I do. I think do I think they get it's a little aggy. How much people want to be like, well, the Beatles is the great like it's the standard of music. Ah, okay, okay, but. You know, good I, music. I didn't. I still really don't know any Beatles songs. You know, here like comes, when they you come know, up, here comes the sun. You know, yesterday. Yeah, yeah. You know, not with you just saying it. You have to play it, and I have to be. Love was such an oh god. Love I, was such an easy game to play. I actually, bra, 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 my I actually love. might like have avoided. Knowing the Beatles here comes music. the sun. Do, 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 do. Yeah, no, I have no relation. You're not doing it. I say, if, it's if, all right. If, do, do, if do, do, I was do, remembering do, 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 something, do, 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 I would be like, Oh, that song, Blackbird singing in the dead of night. I've done Take so well as a black man because I don't know not none of them shits you singing. 
Yeah. Oh, oh you're so well as a black man. Who's yeah. Un, who's under well rounded. You're well rounded. And I got you. When it comes to the, the, the men who this underexposed, the, the, the colonizers who came and took fucking black music. Underexposed. Shut up. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't know. I just. <laughs> Just hating. Just you know what it is. I can never take away one man's body of work or or a group's body of work, and it's they they've done it so many times. Like I can't sit here and like this is me, not a Beatles fan. They've never moved me. Right? Yeah, but you also haven't wanted them to move you. It sounds like it sounds like you've avoided. Love being came moved. Impala. It's one white man moves me every which way. Yeah, but they're no. <laughs> You're not getting it. You have to try. You have to enjoy the music. What then, you won't do, do for, do love. for love. You try everything, he but you can't give, give up. up. In my world, only you make me do for love what I would not do. What? My friends ask me, what is wrong, wrong with me? <laughs> when I'm in the days of your love, you see. What a song. I came back to let you know. Got a thing for you. And I can't let go. What? And then I run away to love. This is what I find, <laughs> what we <laughs> dream of. Do, do. What do you won't do, do, uh, uh, do, do for love. Do. You try everything, but, but you, you won't, won't give up. up. That's so good. It's a great song. That's so fucking good. It's very good. That's so. <laughs> That's very good. <laughs> there. Okay, I got a game. Wait, hey, who, I got a game. Love, uh, who made that? That's uh. That's um. I want to make That's, sure. Don't say, because I know his name. I know his name, too. Oh, because he has another one of my, he, another one that has, I fucking uh, love. He did the light, right? Fuck. No. Fuck. Let me, uh, no, no, no. Uh, yeah, uh, Bobby Caldwell. Bobby Caldwell. That's. Because he's also the one who's, uh, 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 the light by common. Is his sample? Really? There is a light. Oh, it's for you and me. Yeah, but people have been sampling Bobby. Man. And they, uh, it's three songs. <laughs> they sampled three songs. How long? Twin Flame. Yes. And something to do. That white boy was good. Was boy. I got a game that we, I just made it up right okay. here in my head. Name the most soulful white boys. Top five most soulful white boys of all time. Okay. Could be we could even get freaky with it and make it actors and artists because Brad Pitt got soul. So well, his his daughter doesn't want anything to do with him. Right well, now. that that every <laughs> and so every time we bring up Chris Brown, we say, "Well, he beat up Rihanna." Whoa, or every whoa, time, whoa, why yeah, would you do exactly. that? Exactly. So why are we doing this? Yes, we know there are problems in their life. <laughs> there are times. <laughs> We don't have to say the problem every time. Uh, well, this this is new for Brad Pitt. Okay, yeah, he doesn't. He's not used to it. You brought, out, like you brought out an OG issue with Chris Brown. I'm like, Jesus, exactly, why, exactly. I don't know how long his kids hated him. It could be an OG <laughs> issue with him too. Well, okay, so well, most old white boy. Bobby we can Caldwell's keep it music. There. Bobby, Bobby Caldwell for sure, uh, one thousand percent. Um, I think we we got Robin him. Thicke. Hey, you see, I was gonna get to him a little bit later. Yeah, I was just wanted to get him out of the way. Okay. It wasn't about getting him later. Okay. It was just about like Hall and Oates. Damn, yeah. Hall and Oates is crazy. Hall and Oates. Now, have you? I know the me. Carpenters aren't. That's not their vibe. Like they're not like soul. Yeah. But like, it's something about Carpenter songs <laughs> that invokes the soul of black people. Not as much as the Bee Gees. The Bee Gees, Hall of Notes for sure. The beat, I'm not going to fight the Bee Gees. I'm yeah, not going to fight the Bee Gees, but I don't know if I want them in my... What? Five, they might be six or seven. I just want to go over a couple more names. Okay. I love the Bee Gees. Man. You know, I'm not, I'm not hating on them, but I feel like I got two more Ooh. that might not include the Bee Gees. 
some would want to argue uh in it more no michael, michael mcdonald no no now he, he would now now to the morning to top I, I, I started going back and I started seeing he was really rocking with niggas too. Bro. Like Patty the Bell and Michael McDonald. Because he would he would re-sing all their songs. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. No. We're not putting Michael McDonald in our list. So Robin Fink, Hall and Oates, Bobby Bobby Caldwell. Caldwell. Who? Uh, you don't want to give me the Bee Gees yet. Let's. Why don't we? Do, why don't we do a little Google? See who Google says. Soulful white white artist. Yeah. Rick Astley. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No. Tom Jones. Mm. No, that's not. Amy soulful. Winehouse. Yikes. Yeah, but we yes. say we didn't say white men. We say white people. Amy Winehouse is for sure. She's for sure in that bitch. Ooh. Nelly, Nelly Furtado. Furtado. Dude, no. That was a great thing to say so we can be confused by what the fuck you what? said. But we, I don't, like, that was great for content. Promiscuous girl? Promiscuous. She's fucking. I like a bird. That's not white. She's that's, not white. Well, oh, well, I guess, but. I, Her name was, is Furtado. Is she white enough? She's, she's Mexican, maybe some type of Native American, but it ain't white. They say they have Adele, Christina Aguilera. Also, she got pregnant by Haji Beats from fucking, uh, from fucking, uh, Odd Future. Who? Nelly Furtado has a family with Haji from Odd Future. Oh, wow. Wow. That man scored. God damn, that man went nuts. That's, that's Everybody from my future, even if you're not doing great, you you got a family now. Yeah. And, bro, <laughs> Tyler created a, just yeah. a platform for all. That's amazing. And he's and like, that, Jasper, you have to stay with me because no one wants you. So, like, Jasper's always going to be with him. Taco got away. Yeah, Taco's doing a lot. Oh, Taco got away. Ur Earl Sweatshirt. Earl Sweatshirt is an underground god. God. Yeah. He's an underground rap god. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, Lionel is fucking on the bear winning Emmys. It's crazy. That's yeah, amazing. yeah, all my, all my niggas good, and if they not good, they with me, so they good. Like, <laughs> you know what's crazy? We've named, named them all. Tom Jones, I'm not, I'm not putting, I'm not, what's I'm not, new I'm, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I'm not doing Tom Jones. They said Maroon Five. No, I could, I could, I Jason could. Mraz at one point, not anymore. Songs about Jane is such a special. When I was in middle school, oh, I every know. time I went to one of my mom's friends' house, and they were all black. <laughs> they and it was all beautiful houses with rich people. We, we were Mario Winans in them. <laughs> We would go over there. Songs about James would just be echoing throughout the house. It was such a mansion. <laughs> it was for black people. Bro, like I listen. It was my ringtone. This love was my ringtone. I could. And I was in sixth grade. Bro, incredible. Like so, I'm not gonna not. I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave Adam Levine on the sign with Hall with a uh, with a uh, with Bee Gees. So like they're they're in holding. They'll get one. They'll, I mean, they have one album that's that. The rest of the, the songs right. about James, yeah. Yes. Then they went total pop, but like Justin Timberlake, we didn't bring him up. I don't. So put him he's there. been. Pro he would have been an easy layup if he would have just stayed with Timberland right. and stopped trying to pivot and do extra shit. You got to work in formula. But then he did the Man in the Woods, which is funny because Timberland and Pharrell worked on that album, and niggas is like, "You just left us, niggas," and I'm like, "No, he just didn't put them in the." in a promotion with right. them and everything, but they're still there. But we took that and was like, oh, he's going white. He's and it's like, himself. but he's not <laughs> like, they're still right there. They're all on the album. Yeah, so like the optics. But so yeah. then, and then also uh, Janet Jackson titty. Yeah. We always will blame him for that. Yeah. Even regard. And it's not Janet might've done it, but it doesn't matter. He did the, he did the, Oh, I'm so sorry. White boy. I didn't know. And they let and him go through her and she couldn't get back on television or nothing for a while, which is crazy. When you th look at where they we are fucked now. up Janet Jackson's trajectory. Yeah. Which is a wild person. But, but Justin Timberlake kept going up, up, 
uh, 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 yeah, he didn't hit a bump. Yeah. Now, with that being said, he makes great content, and those first two, three albums, incredible. Oh, yeah. Justified is right in there with songs about Jane. Yeah. And yeah. but then he did Future Sex Love Sounds, amazing. Great, but I wouldn't throw that in Soul. Twenty Twenty Vision. It's we're just talking about Soulful. When the mirror break, when mirror break, the way Soul, nigga, the way bubble gums. Hey, 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 the flashing lights go from everywhere. everywhere, everywhere through the the breakdown it. It's Ooh. future sex love sounds. So it's like I, I don't want to get in trouble. So he's still he's with the Bee Gees, and I'm gonna just <laughs> sit him with the Bee Gees, uh, Adam Levine, Justin Timberlake. I'm gonna put them there. We still got we 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 out. Are we done? I think that's Paul all. Wall. Oh, I guess we could name rappers. I guess if you're doing that, Paul Wall, and then I—I I don't know why, but I just Paul Wall, Paul Wall, and I, I would probably have to throw Eminem in there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna bring the BGs and everybody back because that's real music. Jack Harlow. I think I think he's a real advocate of, and really is of the culture. He see he just seems like the type who like he's really. He doesn't. I, he doesn't have to be. But I like his is. personality. Is that's what I'm saying? I like his personality, and I like the person that he is. I think he's hilarious. I love seeing him and Drewski together. I like him as a person. I don't like what he represents. I know what you mean. As a, I don't like what he like. I don't like these him. And it's not him. He's awesome. Right. He's a system, though. He's yeah, yes. literally a machine. Yes. So it's like we're gonna make Jack Harlow work because we're gonna make more of you. Yeah, exactly. We need more of it's, you. So then he does the whips and chains songs, and I'm like, I don't like no whips and chains because I'm black. Oh wait, wait, no, no. You mean uh, Yolo? That song is Yolo. It is literally to the snare drum sound to the. It is Yolo. It just they just didn't have a hook. They, so they just put that, put that money on me, baby. Put, uh, I'm, uh, mm, mm. It's the same exact beat. It's the same song. If you play yellow on that, they're like. They're the same song. They're the same and, song. And that goes deeper into, I don't like what <laughs> he represents. Yeah. I like him as a person. He yes. is a personality. I know why the system was like. You. I'm happy the system chose him. I'm happy I, the system chose you. I just I'm happy you're on you. the success. That's perfect. I'm sad it had to be you. Because after you, I know it's not going to be any better than this, and it's going to be uh Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I am, I'm happy for, for you. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I want that to be clear because it's probably going to be clipped out because it's a slurry. Oh, yeah. But it's like, be clear. I like you, Jack Harlow. I like the way you rap. I like your songs. I listened to the album, and I was like, oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. But I don't, you represent something of a label that, like, I really just, ugh. Yeah. No, 100%. You're right. Damn. <laughs>